All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic about uh, Quranic miracles, as they claim, and it's called uh, mathematical uh, miracle. And uh, you know, I made many videos, but still, people they say like as they never saw before a video of mine about this topic. Uh, you know, always when we say a miracle, it is something nobody can do. I think we have to agree on that, right? Uh, otherwise, it's not a miracle. So, when the Muslim they say to us, if we review what they call scientific miracle, uh, before we, we go and uh, discuss if it's true or not, but when the Muslim they say to us that this is a scientific miracle, I love because what is scientific and what is, sorry, what is miracle about it? As an example, they say that the, the word uh, day in the Quran mentioned 365 times, which is absolutely a fraud and false. We can show you in a second. But let us say for the sake of argument, this has happened. Well, I can make a book have the word day 365 times. The word night 365 night at the time. I mean, it's silly. It's stupid. So this is cannot be considered a miracle if it is true as they're counting, because anyone can do that. However, even this is a fraud. And let me show you actually how the Muslims, they help us always to expose their God. The word they appear in the Quran 365 times, but the Quran and the God of Islam does not go by the sun year. He go by the lunar. So how Allah, he mentioned in the Quran that the word day 365, but he is taking the wrong calendar for the calculation. Are you getting my point? Please invite your friends because uh, YouTube have a problem. I don't know, like maybe they are hiding my channel in purpose. I have tens of thousands of subscribers and there is no way only 160. Actually, it was like uh, uh, nine people only. They've been informed about the broadcast. So obviously there's something fishy there. So to make it simple, if really true that the word they appear in the Quran 365 times, that means Allah is a fool and he chose the wrong calendar, which is the lunar calendar. You know, if you go in the Quran, you will find chapter uh, 9, verse number 36. And this is the Muslim translation. Verily the numbers of months with Allah is a 12 months. The fact it doesn't say months. It says the word shahr. The word shahr, for those who do not know. In Arabic today, is used as a word mean month, true. But the word shahr is an Aramaic word, Aramaic and Hebrew, mean moon. So the year for Allah is a 12 moon. And all the Muslims agree that Muslims follow the lunar year, which is the 12 moon. So if Allah, he announced that he is a moon guy, he followed the moon calendar, then you say to me in your website that the word they appear in the Quran 365 times, that's mean your God is a joke. Now, let us put this into test. Does really the word they appear in the Quran 365 times? We will see if this is true or not. You see here, because they cannot now play games because they said, the word yawm, yawm. So we are going to search for the word yawm in front of you in the Islamic website. I have nothing to do with it. Whatever the answer will be, we will take it. This is search.com, Muslim website. I will type the word yawm in Arabic. This is the word yawm. I will choose search exact phrase which mean exact word and let us see the number will come 211 time the word yom let us see any word any word let us zoom out a little bit so now we will go to any word which mean any word can like have to do with the word yom which mean a day is going to appear 
415 time so how the Muslims they come with the calculation that it is appearing in the Quran 365 time obviously it is a fraud as simple as that and the same goes for everything everything they have there is a fraud look at this the word day number of occur occurrence 30 days 30 time okay what is the word days but they say uh, ayam yomain okay let us put the word ayam we start with the first one let us see how many time will appear maybe 30 days we will see okay Ayyam. I would type the word Ayyam. Twenty-eight verses, any word. If we make it the exact phrase, twenty times. Fraud again. And here you notice with me, something very funny and very silly about their what they say in the website because look they said the word yawm appeared 365 times and we proved that this is false and then they say the word ayam and the word yaw uh, main which means two days so why you are calculating the word ayam and the word yaw main and if we mention here if just 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 to go with their lie if the word yawm appear 365 and the word ayam appear with, with the word yawmain appear 30 times according to their calculation, that means this is the 395 time for the word days to, to appear. So why Allah is making such a mistake? So it's just a joke. It's just a fraud. It's a, it's a garbage. Now, here they say the word day appear is 475 time my what what hold on the word day 400 is 470 time 75 doesn't you just say that the word day appear 365 look we saw that the singular day yo is mentioned 365 time and the pearl of it is a 30 time in the quran to use the diversities of the word day is three four hundred seventy five time <laughs> this is their calculation if you continue here just to show you then they say uh, the 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 divertis of the uh, uh, the word year sana senin are mentioned 19 times let us see if this is true or not hmm. mention 19 times okay i will type the word sana Thirteen time to cut the crap as an example they say to you the miracle of number 19 and they go and they calculate for you the chapter of al-fatiha And they say the chapter of Al-Fatiha contain 19 letters. This is Al-Fatiha. And they start calculating numbers of, of letters. But the fact, this is a fraud again. Why? Because you see in Arabic, those things can work only with those who do not know Arabic. The word Bism is not exist in Arabic. We have nothing in Arabic. It's called bism. You see this word here. It's not exist. This is the fabricators of those who made the Quran after Muhammad. Because it is hard to recite it in Arabic when you want to sing the Quran. So they decide to take off the alif. Here there's an alif. Alif means A, letter A. So here there's a letter. It's called alif. I will put it in Arabic. Uh,
Now my keyboard, I ha I don't have an Arabic keyboard, so I'm you know the uh, uh, it's not like I have a, a perfect keyboard for writing Arabic. I have like let's say the virtual thing. BSM, BSM. Actually, let me show you the correct way is written because now it's not correct this way. Let me show you how it's co written correctly. If I go right now to the Quran. Here you will see how many times the word ism appear, but we will show it specifically as exact phrase, so we don't waste our time to search for the word. Do you see how the word be ism appear? There's alif. Do you see it? Do you see it? This is the same word. This is the correct writing. So the first verse in the Quran are written wrong. And the reason they wrote it this way, because they don't want to pronounce the alif. They want to make it easier for recitation, for singing. So they corrupt the word of their God, and they change the Arabic language just for the sake of singing the Quran. So the number 19 miracle is gone, because here we go. Just by doing this, we have 20 letters. Now, let us go back. We are not done. Are we done? No, we are not. Just to show you how silly they are. In Arabic, each time you see this sign, you see it here in the top of the letter. I will, I will highlight under the letter. In the top of it, there is this sign which is look like this. In Arabic, this one is called Shadda. What Shadda mean? Shadda, you extend. Why we extend? Extend the pronunciation. Why? Because there is two letter here. So Ar-Rahman, the letter Ra, it is two R, not one. So here we will have additional, not only one letter, we will have two R. R and R. This is what Shadda do. The number now not only became 20, now we have 22. The miracle of number 19 is destroyed. But hold on, we just jumped. Allah, Allah have a Shadda too. Do you see it here? This is a Shadda, the same letter. You see it? And this is letter L. So now we have two more letters to add. So we have L plus L. And hold on, we miss another Ra. If you look here, you will see that we have another Shadda. That's mean we have two R again. The miracle of number 19 became shish kebab. R plus R. And I challenge any Muslim to say it's not true. Actually, there is a video made by the guy, his Nu'man Khan, and you will see Nu'man Khan is speaking about words in Quran. Can be re You can read them, supposedly it's a miracle. You can read them in both directions, like from the left to the right, and from the right to the left. And you will see in his video, how he is counting the ra, the letter ra twice. Why? Because there's a shadda. So the Muslim, they can say a Christian prince is making things up. So what is the miracle uh, uh, number 19? It's gone. It is a fraud. Literally, it is a fraud. And if this is wrong, the whole calculation for the rest is wrong too. Don't change my topic, please. I want people to be focused. Why you are asking me about Al-Imam Al-Mahdi when we are talking and the title is about the mathematical miracle of the Quran? Are we suffering from the flight of thoughts like Muhammad? Be mature, be adult. 
The topic is Corona. We talk about Corona. We don't talk about macaroni. So, because the Muslims are so desperately trying to find the miracle in the Quran, so they fabricated this. Otherwise, Muhammad, he should say, okay, calculate the numbers of the letters, see how amazing they are. You know, Muhammad don't know, you know. The one who break the Quran to you, he is the last one to know. Uh, the same one, he is the last one when, when his wife, she was sleeping with the guy, his name is Safwan. He is the last one to know. However, as long Allah is so good in mathematics as the Muslims claim, how come Allah don't remember how many days uh, he needed to create the earth? As an example, Allah in the Quran, he repeated himself many times saying that he created the earth and the heaven in six days. In what? In six days. You see it? Fi Sattati Ayyam. Chapter 7, verse number 54. Okay. Allah, He created the earth and the heaven in six days, in those verses. But in different verses, Allah, He created the earth and the heaven in eight days. Let us read together. Now the Muslims they try to, uh, to 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 fight this back, and they say, "Oh, it doesn't say that, CP. This is wrong understanding, CP." Uh, no, you see, the verses are so clear, hmm? and there is no way to misunderstand them. In chapter 41, verse number 9, the mathematic of Allah is screwed up. Do you verily disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days, and he set up rival in worship with him? Here, by the way, you will see the stupidity of the logic of the one who is talking. Uh, and I will explain to you why. If I say to you, are you denying the one who created the earth in two days? As if I have a proof that he did that. You know what I mean? To make it simple, imagine I claim that I am God. And then somebody, he don't want to believe that I am God. So I say to him, are you denying the one which is me who created the earth in two days? So, the statement here is officially stupid. Because, do you have any way, any proof that you created the earth in two days? Secondly, the Muslim, they say, if Allah, he wants something to happen, he say, B is going to be. So, what you are saying, it took him two days. Are you saying that Allah took him two days to say the word be. So he was saying, be, come tomorrow, be. Where is the word be? And it was. The Quran itself admitting that Allah took him two days to create the earth only. And then he continued. And he placed on the earth mountain above it, which is stupid to say. Because the mountains are not something placed in the top of the earth. So the God of mathematics, he need to go to school to learn that mountains are not rocks. God put them in the top of the earth. They are from the inside the earth, not the opposite. And he pleased it and measured their in the distance in four days the muslim they say to you hold on no 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 here those four days is including those two days anyone can be convinced with this no 
because if those four days are including those then he should say you know and I created the earth and everything in it in four days but he did not say that he said I created the earth in two days and I did this in four days what he did the mountain mountains and the systems and everything in it in four days so now we have already six then he continues saying that then he went to the sky and he made them seven skies in two days the total is eight So how this is can be a scientific miracle that this God he did not know how many days he created the earth not only that if you compare between a chapter 41 and chapter 79 you will see that here and many Muslims they left Islam debating me about this topic and you can watch tons of videos how this chapter alone make them leave Islam according to this verse Allah he finished everything in earth and the last thing he created it was the stars in other verses in the Quran chapter 79 it is the opposite you can print if you want if your screen cannot fit for both at the same time and compare the two chapters read carefully are you more difficult to create or the heaven he constructed he raised it high and he has equal or equally ordered its height he covered with darkness so which means there's darkness and there's day and for and it's forenoon which means we have day now we have the sun and after that he spread the earth and after that he brought forth the water and after that he placed the mountain firm and this is what he did but if you go to the other chapter it's the opposite look what is the last thing he placed what is the last thing he did he made the mountains what was before it he made the water and the grass what was before it he made the earth flat what was before it he made the day and the night what was before it he made the sky in order and he left it up okay let us go and see the order of this joke in chapter 41 it says the following that he placed sorry he created the earth in two days and then he placed in the top of it mountain but the other chapter saying the last thing he did is the mountains and then he made this the, the water but in the other chapter the water came before the mountains and the grass and the trees and then stage number four Allah he went to the sky and he made and the sky was a smoke which means there was nothing and then he made them seven skies and then he made the light and the lamps but in the other chapter the light was first or was after muslims read carefully allah started with the light chapter 79 started with sky he raised the sky he made the day and the night so the day and the night was created number three stage number three in the process of creating the sky until now he did nothing in the earth and after that he made the earth flat and after that he made the water and the grass and after that he placed mountains we go back for the slow one which one where is the mountain was Allah he created the earth in two days then after that he placed the mountains so it was a stage number two so in the other chapter it was the last stage Allah he placed the mountain and here is number two so how this is can be God you tell me any Muhammadan
The Muslim who is saying to me, fake, uh, shame on you. This guy, Fahim, this coward, he called me in Skype and he played for me love songs. He's in love with me. This coward who have an adult picture, he called me in Skype playing for me love songs. He's like he's a prophet. He want to date men. Any Muslim? So the God who can count 365 days, 365 nights, stupid stories, lies. He doesn't even remember which one he created first. And not only that, the God of Islam is the God of Pupu. Nobody can beat him in the Pupu. Allah himself, he said in the Quran, supposedly Aka Muhammad, that he never sent a miracle. He never gave miracle to Muhammad. And nothing stop us from sending ayat, proofs, evidence, signs. But that is the people of all deny them. So Muhammad here admitting that his God bankrupt. He is not giving him miracle because people they keep saying to him, show us a miracle, give us a miracle. Hmm? I don't want to talk about the Bible. Who said who said so? Let us talk about the Bible. Fahim he said, You don't want to talk about the Bible. Let us talk about the Bible. Your God, Allah, is so stupid to the point. He claimed that he sent the Isa to the Jews, yet he gave him a book in Greek. See, we are talking about the Bible. Wherever you go, I'm going to spank you. When you have a God, he claimed that he sent a book, it's called Injil. And Injil is a Greek word. Obviously, your God, he never heard of anything how to do with Jesus. He is talking about one of the Gospels written in Greek. But this is the book he sent down, which means Allah, he sent a Gospel in Greek. You hear the Muslims saying, Oh, Jesus was sent to the Jews. Oh, Jesus was sent to the Jews. Oh, Jesus, he was sent to the Jews only. Okay, so he was sent to the Jews and his book is in a Greek. Guys, did you read my book in uh, 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 which I wrote for the, the people in England? It's called Ching Ho. Uh, is that Chinese? Yes, uh, my book title in Chinese. Yes, because... Uh, but I wrote it for the English people. In the top of that, the Muslim, they say that the Injil is corrupt, which means they are saying to us that their God Allah is a fufu. Anyone can spank him, corrupt his book. Because when a Muslim, he claimed that the gospel is corrupted, he is accusing his God because his God supposedly claimed that he is the one who sent this book, which means a Muslim saying to you, literally and clearly, loud and clear, we have a God, everybody give him a finger. You can finger Allah in his mouth, in his nose, as you wish. You can play with his book. He can do nothing. As we speak right now, my finger is in the nose of Allah. Getting some Quran of, uh, out. Quran virus. So, why you lie to us about miracle and science when the God of Islam, I mean, this God is the most stupid official God. We spank him every day. Who is a Muslim he dare to call me and show me one thing is correct in the Quran? Tell me please and I will open Skype for you. Now, the only answer he has for me, you are giving misinformation. Why you don't call me and give me the correct information? Misinformation. Miss. Miss Fahim, how are you? 
How is your dad, Miss Miss Dad Fahim? Anyone? The God of the Quran think that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. So Allah, he break hails and he send it on us. Is that true? Yes, this is, this is what it says. And I challenge any Muslim to say it's not true. The God of Islam do not know how the baby created. He think the sperm will become a congealed dead blood. This is God. He sent from the sky. And look, the Muslims, in order to corrupt the Quran, they say, like, like mountains. Where the world would like? And he sent down from the sky hail from mountains in it. And look, the, the fraud is trying to say, to, trying to be a little bit honest. He says, or there are in heaven mountains of hail where he sent down hail. Nice to meet you, Mr. Or. Let me introduce for you Professor Sheikh Imam Dr. Or. Or 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 the god of the or or the god of the or or oh that remind me there's a new song i just made uh, uh just uh, today in the morning hmm. nobody know nobody know no this is brand new you know nobody know nobody da -da -da nobody nobody know nobody know how he did allah nobody Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Isn't it obvious that this God is an idiot? Muhammad is copying the legions and he learning from the legion how things work. What, how, and how it work. Okay, God, he have mountains of hail. It's called, uh, this is a book, it's called the book of Avatar movie. Flying mountains, they are hail mountains. And then Allah, he bring his chisel, dish, dish, dish. And he break hail and he throw it at the Christian prince. And this is the God of mathematics. If we call Zach and Nick, I guess this guy is just disturbing you. Forget about him. I'm going to, to, to stop him from texting anyway. Either he call us or we don't. He's just disturbing you, trying to take you away from the topic. If we call Zach and Nayak and ask him about this disaster, how hail is made, Zach and Nayak will explain to you because he's a doctor. He, he, he is very well educated, you know. He graduated from the most high uh, 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 standard school in the world. And he have a certification of the camel urine side effect tereden 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 Peter Prince I told you to call me but it's like a neck just man we are friends and we I cannot I cannot spend the day without calling you it's impossible I know you are sexually harassing me and now I have you recorded what do you mean sexually man I'm just calling you to ask you a question what does this have to do with sex everything in your head is about sex so why are you calling me? There are million women that can call him. Why are you calling the only women in the world with me? You are a woman? I mean a man. I'm sorry. I mean a man, the only man in the world. Uh, Zach and Nick, forget about this now. How Allah, he think that there is hail in the sky, which is coming from mountains there. He break it and he throw it at us. Don't you think this is a clear mistake? Christian Prince, first of all, you are stupid. Okay, let us say, assume that I am. Can you make me smart? I can't make you smart. The only one can make you smart is the one who made hail in heaven. Okay, he made hail in heaven. He, he is not saying he made hail. He says he is taking hail from mountains in heaven and throw it at us. Exactly. Okay, but how this happened, we knew that the hail is not functioning this way. This is not how the, the hail is made. Peter Brent, I told you one million times. First of all, 
You need to change your diet because the diet you are eating, the food you are eating, is making you stupid. Okay, it was Zach and like, okay, explain to us for the sake of Allah leg. Don't talk about Amal leg. What's wrong with about Allah leg? Why can I talk about? It? Because it's very sexy. Allah leg is very sexy. So how you say to the Christians how you worship a man and Allah have a leg? First of all, Allah leg is not like your leg. It's a different leg. It's not like my leg for sure. But uh, who cares? It's a leg. Is it a leg? Exactly. But his leg is not like yours. But you say to the Christian, you cannot worship a man, but your God have a physical body. First of all, there's a big, big scholar. His name is Muhammad Hidab. And he said, who says so? Uh, so do you agree with him? I don't agree with him. So you think he's lying? Exactly. Okay, so what the solution now? Do Allah have a leg? Yes, I told you, Allah have a leg, but it's not your leg. It's Allah have a leg, but not like my leg. So what does that mean? He have a leg. This is the, So if Allah have a leg, what he do with it? Allah, he free to do with his leg whatever he with. Whatever what? Whatever he with. Uh, he wish. Oh, okay. Like what? He can walk with it. He can kick your ass. Uh, okay. <clears throat> that makes sense. So Allah is the all height. Uh, height. Height, yeah. yeah. And uh, not high. And uh, uh, he is a uh, uh, Muslim don't worship a man that like Christians worship Jesus. Uh, yet Allah have a physical is a physical being. He have hands. He have a foot. He have a leg. And uh, he is made from what? From silicon. First of all, those questions are haram. And we are not allowed to ask him. So how you will know? What do you know about your God? If there is any details additional to this. So now you have a leg. You have a shin. You have a, a hand, five fingers, two eyes, face. So what is this is all made from? Maybe it's a, is it a wood? Peter Prince, those questions are forbidden. And we are not allowed to question them. Allah knows best. Okay, well, I'm really happy to talk to you, Zach and Naik. Uh, uh, sorry for bothering you. Peter Prince, don't hang up on me. And you are a coward. I tell you to debate me and you are running away. I'm not running away. Okay, let's start a debate. No, you call me later. You just say this, you are running away in the debate. I was saying that you are running away from me because you don't want to debate me. Okay, let us debate now. Exactly. Now we can debate because I'm busy. So I will wait. Don't hang up. Okay, finish what you are doing and we can start. Christian Prince, if you know what I'm doing, you want to believe it. Uh, what you are doing? I'm preparing the medicine. Really? For what? Coronavirus. Zachary Naik is making a medicine for coronavirus? What is that? Are you serious? Exactly. Prophet, he said that there is a seed and this seed is the medicine for any disease in the world. No oh boy. Zakir, are you sure that the seed is a remedy for any disease in the earth? I'm telling you, it's true. And we are going to break it through and we are going to save the whole universe and everybody will convert to Islam. Zach and I, can you quote for us what the Prophet said? He said, in the black seed, there is a healing for every disease, except death. Uh, but death is not disease, man. So why are you thinking that death is disease? Forget about this bad part. Uh, so I agree, this part is stupid. Christian Prince, don't turn the topic. How Prophet Muhammad, he knew this? Well, he knew what? That this seed can be healing for all the deeds in the world. But your Prophet was dying and he was sick. So how come he did not take it and heal himself? Exactly. The Prophet sacrificed himself. He wanted us to have the seed because the seed at that time, it, it was the only seed left. Oh, in the time of the Prophet, there is only one seed left from those seed. So if he take it, we will be not having it. Look how much sacrifice he had. Amazing. I cannot, I cannot thank you more, Dr. Dr. Zakenaik, for telling us about the sacrifice of your Prophet Muhammad. So he died from sickness and illness and poison, and yet he had the medicine in his hand. Exactly. But because Prophet Muhammad is a medicine, he decided to save the seed so we can have more seed. 
and now you have a lot of seed? I have a lot of seed. Okay. Did you hear what happened in Egypt, in Iran, in Saudi Arabia? People are dying left and right in Iraq. Why you don't do uh, give them the seed, man? Exactly. I am not going to give it to them until all of them repent to Allah and die. Right. But the hadith says that this seed will not work after death. So what do you mean you give it to them after they die? Give the breath. First of all, I am a person of knowledge and science. I cannot release this discovery like this. But it's released already 1400 years ago, uh, Zachar Naik. You cannot say I cannot release it. I mean, don't claim that you are the one who discovered it. It's there. Actually, right now I have the height and I have all the, the remedy in front of me in the screen in my computer. Christian Prince, I'm going to call the police for you. You had my computer and you get the hadith. But this is written 1400 years ago. This is not now. What do you mean I hack your computer? Hello? Zach here? Zach here? Zakura. Zakuku. Zakuku, did you hang up? Oh, he's calling the police for me now. Tereden, 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 tereden. Uh, hello? Police, I'm going to report the person in the name of the prince. Uh, what he did? He stole a recipe for coronavirus. Uh, really? You have uh, you have the re re recipe? Why is it like, why you call it recipe? Is it like a uh, food? Exactly. It's food. And he took it from me. Uh, do you have a proof that he took the recipe from you? I have witnesses. Live on air. He was recording that. And it's right now. If you if you go to the program, you can hear him talk about it. Okay. Well, uh, can you give us his uh, channel? His name is the Arabian Prophet. Uh, 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 did you say Arabian Prophet? Yes, Arabian Prophet. We cannot arrest the Arabian Prophet. He's a scary. He have like millions of terrorists supporting him. Execute me. This is not the real Arabian Prophet. This is the one in YouTube. Stupid people. <laughs> oh boy. If you are not convinced that Muhammad have science, you must be a fool. Hmm? I mean, amazingly, Muhammad is scientifically accurate. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? I'm getting my tea. Did you hear the tea? Brother, is drinking tea haram or halal? <laughs> Fad Hill? Are you a Muslim Fad Hill? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Uh, father, why you don't sacrifice your child if you want to save humans? Why not you? Uh, you know, uh, Fahad, Fahad uh, Muhammad, I will be really happy if you can call me. And we will talk about the question you asked me specifically. What do you think? Guys, do you think Mr. Fahad, Fahad, he have the courage to call me? And I promise you, I will talk only about the question you just mentioned in the chat. Do you dare, my friend? And I will make you ashamed of your question. Hello? Don't play dead now. Fadhal, are you going to play dead? The Muslims are scared of their own question. You see, the best way to beat Islam, ask him the question, he gave to you. You will see how Islam collapsed in two seconds. No problem. No problem. He want to know Christianity. No problem. Do you dare to call me? Look, even his even his text is stopped. He's hiding under the the sofa. Uh, 
I am hiding, I am hiding, I am hiding. Why in the Old Testament the Father be angry to human? Why? I mean, you're stupid. You must be stupid. You do not know the Quran. Is it Allah is angry too in the Quran? This is how stupid they are. But isn't it the Quran says Allah is angry? What's wrong with you? So the one who gets angry, he must be human. Well, hold on. For us, for us, by the way, we believe that God, he can come to us and he came to us as a man. So no problem. So if the one who gets angry, that will make him a human. Well, your God always is angry. And we can show you tons of verses in the Quran. Hmm? Hello. 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 La 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 la. You see, even here they translate here the word anger, humiliation, but the fact is not humiliation, it's an anger. Change the translation. Yeah, they put humiliation. Anyway, leave this guy, he's just a kid. We give you a chance once, twice, three times, but you, you don't want to uh, call us, you don't dare, that's your business. Do we have any Muslim there to call me? Do we have any Muslim there to call me? Call and debate Dawah team? Okay, I will call them. Where are they? <laughs> Dawah team. What a team, man. <laughs> what kind of what kind of a team they need to need to team up to debate a guy? What you doing, guy? And yet they don't dare to call him. Where are they? Here we go. I'm here. Dawah team, do you hear me? Please, please, please call me. Allah, he need your help. Muhammad, suffering because of me. Please, please, please call me. Tadadam, tadadam. Tadadam, tadadam. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, yes, who's with me? We are Dawah team. You are what? Dawah team. Okay, what do you want to do? What do you do for a living? We do da'wah. Okay, what does that mean? We tell people about the amazing teaching of Allah. Okay, like what? Beating your wife? Beating the wife is something so beautiful. Like, okay, why it's beautiful? Because I will tell you a very true story. Uh-huh, I'm listening. When I beat my wife, she get excited and she go to bed immediately. Oh, so she have like this fantasy when she get beaten, she get horny. Exactly, brother, exactly. And does it work for all Muslim women or only your wife? All Muslim women, how you know? Because I practiced this with my brother from the Dawah team. I did beat his wife and she get horny too. So you are sleeping with your friend wife? I'm not sleeping with her. I just made her horny and then we did some lemon. What is the lemon? Lemon means, brother, you can kiss her. You can touch her. Uh, touch her where? Everywhere. And is that uh, lawful in Islam? Yes, brother, it is very lawful in Islam. And did your friend, your brother, he knew that you are touching his wife, private part, etc.? He knew, brother. How he knew? He was there watching. How you do that? In Islam, it says you can do exchange of wife, brother. You can exchange wives? Yes, brother. Do you have a proof of that? Brother, the Quran says to Prophet that if you don't repent wives, Allah can exceed you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, brother from the Awa team, I'm so uh, glad that I spoke to you and I just learned 
uh, something from you that Allah exchange Muslim women like you take his wife he take your wife I thought this is just an Arab practice before Islam hey brother Islam is very open-minded okay uh, just hold on what do you mean as an example we do muta uh, what is muta muta mean enjoyment okay how you do that I will give you an example by the way why you are talking like you are so are you taking drugs or something no, I'm not taking drugs. I told you we are Dawah team. Uh, because you are Dawah team. Uh, that's explained. It. So, uh, how you do muta? You go in the elevator and you see a woman, see the Muslim, and you say to her, How much you taught me to do boom boom with you? Uh -huh. And this is halal in Islam? Absolutely. If they agree about the payment and the terms and the condition, we go for it. Okay, what is the terms and the condition? You have to tell her how much you will pay her and how much time she will spend with you in the bed. Uh, but you said you are in the elevator. It doesn't matter. We can do it standing. Well, that's a good sex. Standing in the elevator. Hmm. The, but by the way, just to warn you, there's a security camera. They are watching you. Don't worry about it. We have a gum. Oh, you put gum in the camera? Exactly. You are very relaxed, by the way. I like the way you are. I mean, you have a solution for anything. So Islam is a very open-minded religion. I can tell you, you can sleep with whoever you want. You know, you. That's uh, okay. That's uh, obviously this is a very high ethic. This is not only high ethic. This is high horny cult. I mean, religion. Okay, uh, Mr. Uh, Dawa team. Thank you for calling us. Take care in the elevator. Hmm. Any Mohammedan? Brian, Brian Z, you are you a Muslim, my friend? Are you a Muslim? We take calls only from Muslims. If you are a Muslim, let me know. If not, then hold your horses. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? <clears throat> All right. Hmm? Anyone? We got about Brian wanna call me. Is he a Muslim or not? If he is a Muslim, no. I'm logging right now in my Skype and only Muslims they can call me. Anyone is the Muslim I will hang up on you. Because we want to give the Muslims the voice to speak. Any Muslim? My Skype is on. Okay, is a Muslim he can call me. He will debate me in public. Why? Somebody told you this is a private uh, room. We have four hundred people listening. What? Uh, what public? This is not public. Any brave Muslim, he dare to call me. My Skype is open. We said many things. Feel free to answer any of them. 
anyone? <clears throat> Nobody? Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, da da da. Nobody, nobody know. Uh, yeah, Fadl is busy with the elevator now. He cannot call me. He has to practice in muta. I mean, this is a religion of dignity. Prophet, he ordered women to give their breast to for men to suck them, and they are strange men. So if you are a Muslim, and your wife, she likes to sit in the window. I mean, that will be horrible. Anyone walking by, he will do breastfeeding from your wife. If you get inside the house and you find a guy laying down in your bed, and your wife, she is hugging him and he is suckling her breast, don't be upset. Be open minded. The Prophet, you order that. Anyone? So we log in the sky for nothing, not a single Abdul. How embarrassing. Let us see, maybe we have a Muslim here. Anyone? Last call. Before we close the doors of Allah heaven. You see, because if you call me right now, you can imagine how much Allah will be happy. He will be like, <laughs> like you know, so excited. Because suddenly, there's a real Muhammadan, he is defending Islam. There is an elephant in Yemen. Yes, a Christian prince, you stupid in the zoo. In the zoo. Hmm. CP, help me. I want to see you debating in public. Uh, 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 Father, uh, I have no time for a stupid talk. Let your dad come here. I am in YouTube, you are in YouTube, and help me to see you in public. What do you mean? I will invite you, pay for your ticket. Please help me, I want to see you debating in public. This is public, you donkey. You're a prophet, none of his doing was in public. He went to seven heaven, who saw him? Nobody. The guys, yesterday, I was sitting in my house, and a donkey come and knock at my window. Oh, oh, you donkey, what are you doing here? Ah, Jibreel, you are with him? Yes, we are. Get ready, we are going to take you to heaven. Oh, okay. But before we take you, we have to do plastic surgery for you. Plastic surgery? Yes, we have to do plastic surgery. Have you ever heard of someone who claimed to be a prophet? Yet, he needed plastic surgery to clean his chest and his heart and his uh, uh, organs so he can go to heaven? Brother, did you see this is in public debate or this is was a statement Muhammad said nobody so? Hello? Who was there witnessing this surgery? The angels cutting off the chest of the prophet, taking off his organs and washing them with the water of Zamzam. Here we go. This is how you stop Corona. And then they brought a dish of wisdom. I mean, how dumb to believe in such a story.
Anyone we use a, fat, a, a filthy language, I will ban you. I just banned one. Any use, anyone use the F word, go to where you belong. If your mouth is dirtier than the toilet seat, you are in the wrong place. Go practice your skills in different place. If you are a person who cannot speak without using the F word, if you claim to be a Christian, you are a false Christian. If you are an atheist or a Muslim, this is your business, but don't bring your dirt here. A human being should speak like a human being. Donkeys are better than you. Donkeys don't say the F word to each other, you idiot. So if you want to make a point, there's no need to use such a word. This is the language of the filthy and the one who they have nothing to say. They think by saying it, they give themselves like a, a heavy-weighted statement. The fact you give us a heavy-weighted garbage. Your mouth is more dirty than the sink. The Lord, he said, it's not what go inside your mouth, make you dirty, it's what come from your mouth. Now, do we have any Muhammadan? All right, we will, we will, uh, I will log off of Skype as long as there's no customers. I mean, we are very slow these days since Corona started, there is no, very slow. Oh, I forgot I am live on air. I'm whistling. Unbelievable. It's haram to whistle. You know, uh, Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds, but he can understand the language of the ants. Isn't it? This is amazing. I mean, this is really astonishing. You go to school to learn the language of the Japanese and you end understanding the language of the rabbits. I mean, it's obvious. This is amazing. Mm. And Suleiman, he have an army of birds. And there is a colonel in his army. His name is Mr. Hudhud. In English, Hupu. 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 You know the pink panther? Ho 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 po. Ha ho 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 ho. What is the name of the shampoo? Ho 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 po. Ah ho 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 po. Ho ho po. Ooh ho ho po. Ha ho ho po. So Suleiman, he have a kingdom. He's a king. He have ministers. He have a big army which can go for tens of thousands of kilometers, as your books, Islamic book says. And now he is a chicken. A bird is missing. And he thought among the birds, and he said, How, 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 how is it that I see not hoopoo? Or he is among the absent. Like, what the heck? Where are you, man? Why you are late? The king is here. What a stupid cut. Garbage in, garbage out. All right, we will log off uh, Skype as long as there's nobody. What we can do. What do you think? And how Allah, he taught him the language of the birds, but he understand the language of the ants. And Solomon was David higher, and he said, Oh, my kind, Lou, we have taught you language of birds. We taught you language of birds. Why? 
I mean, why Allah he taught in the language of the birds? Okay, uh, Suleiman, I want you to translate this for me. Khabibi, uh, because Suleiman is a Jew. Khabibi, Christian prince. I'm going to translate for you this verse. This is a chapter one, verse number one in Al Fatiha. Oh, so the chicken is reciting that Fatiha chapter. Yes, Christian Prince Habibi. If you want to take a mortgage from me, it's the best time to take a mortgage and I will give you the best interest. Uh, hold on, Suleiman. What does this have to do with the topic? What are you talking about? Let's go back to the topic. So, you understand the language of the chicken and what is the purpose of this? So, I can find out, Habibi, if the chicken is going to lay eggs soon or not. Ah. So I can sell it in the stock market. Ah, uh -huh, okay. That that makes sense. Uh, Brian, uh, it's time for you to go to the moon. How many times you said how I can call him? Get out of here. What a kid. <laughs> how I can call him. How I can call him. How I can call him. Don't get married. Because your wife, she will take off her clothes and she said to you, let me make baby. And you will say to her, how I can make baby? How I can make baby? How I can make baby? The poor wife is waiting. How I can make baby? The wife take her the panty. How I can make baby? She take her bra. How we think they made baby? The wife, she go to the neighbor. How we can make baby? The wife, she get a bread net from the neighbor. How we can make baby? The wife, she deliver a son. How we can make baby? I mean, where do you get those people from? Unbelievable. She's waiting for you. For the last 40 minutes, this guy is saying nothing except how to contact Christian Prince and people posting for him DB TV. Add this name, DB TV. And we can call him somebody. Uh, debate too late man uh, and, and you are not a muslim why you answer the phone what phone by the way we will be later in the quality of life account if you like to join us uh, later afternoon or let's say it's going to be night for some of you uh, we are going to be live there if you like to join us and subscribe feel free um, and the topic is about how to stay uh, strong in the time of, you know, weakness. Like now, many people, they are suffering, etc. So, uh, this is, will be our topic. If you like to join us. It's going to be live in nine hours. Ah, okay. So, if you care to be with us. In nine hours from now, quality of life account. All right. Debit Ray, don't make me block you too. No. Anyone here going to be silly, I will block you. Seriously. What calling for him? What does that mean? When we say only Muslim can call us, only Muslim can call us. I don't want you to give me brain ID. That's it. Who care if he call or not? I just told you I am out of Skype. When I say I'm out, I'm out. You know, when I give opportunity for Muslims to call me, speaking to anyone is not really my interest. My interest is to show you how stupid this cult is. And we are proving it every day. So they call, they don't call, who care? We have thousands of calls recorded, it's all over the net. They will not add something new. Right? Anyway, 
how many of you want to join us later? I will post the link. Don't forget to subscribe to the quality of life. And there we speak about things that have nothing to do with the garbage of Muhammad. So if you are interested, and we allow Christian to call us to share with us on the topic, and I will be happy to hear you there. And this is there is different, you know, it's more clean, we are relaxed, and we don't have such a garbage thing to talk about. So this is a great opportunity actually for us to take a break from all the garbage and the madness of Muhammad. All right? So if you like to join us, subscribe to that channel, be sure that you get the notification on. And always we have good videos. Actually, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I go live there, not in Arabian Prophet. But in this week, we made an ex exception because I felt like I miss spanking Muhammad. So like my hand was like itchy, you know. I want to spank, you know, I want to spank. Muhammad, he meet me, like miss me, like, you know. So I, I could not resist my the, the spanking hand. By the way, my hand is hurting because of too much spanking. Unbelievable. The doctor, he says to me, uh, from now on, you don't do spanky, spanky. I said, how do you know, doctor? He said, Dr. Zakar Naik told me. <laughs> All right, guys. Please don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. Obviously, there is something wrong with YouTube. YouTube is hiding my videos for some reason. You know, I even I changed the layout of my page and still we have a 364 people. This is impossible. This has never happened. You know, I have tens of thousands of subscribers in this channel. It's impossible. So for some reason, my YouTube, and I'm assuming somebody from YouTube is playing games, is not letting my page show. Otherwise, this is really impossible, you know. 368, that is hard to believe. Either they are showing their numbers wrong, or they are not showing my page. If you go to the front page of my channel, I change really uh, the layout. I, I put the up screen, up, uh, the upcoming uh, stream first. All right. Anyway, thank you, Toothy. Uh, guys, I want to say thank you all for being here. We pray for everybody. We pray for the health and security and safety for all of us. We pray for Muslims to be safe. We pray for Hindus. We pray for atheists. We pray for those who curse God. We pray for those who hate Christians, for we are Christians following Christ. We love everybody. We pray specifically for the old ones, so they will not be infected by this deadly virus. And if you are young, don't think that you are protected. Young, they can die from this ugly, disgusting virus. You know, this virus, it is ugly, it's disgusting. But this virus will make many people wake up. Will make the whole world wake up. Human being became so much arrogant, thinking that he is God. He's in control. Nothing can stop him. And sometimes, you need somebody to remind you about how weak you are, how nothing you are. Come back to your sense. Stop being foolish. Death is in the corner. You can die any second. Human being is very arrogant and very selfish. And I believe God, he have his wisdom by exposing us to death. You see, each time I see a funeral or I see a graveyard, it is astonishing how seeing such a thing make you go back to your sense. One day, all of us, we will end in a little tiny hole in the ground. The one who believe and the one who don't believe. The difference is that those who believe, they die happily. Regardless if their salvation is there or not, at least even his death is comfort death because he have hope of living again with the Lord. A person who don't believe in God, he will die a horrible death because he is terrified, he is scared. He is so much attached to this life. A believer, he believes in different life, better life. 
and this is what make us more strong even to survive disasters for those who have faith faith can save them not necessarily from death but from the terror of death so I say it's not too late for us as a human to remember and come back to our sense that we are just visitors in this earth we, we don't own it we are not the owners and what is given to you can be taken from you in a second what you think you have you don't have your, your house is not yours somebody will soon somebody will take over your house anything you have you will not take with you to the grave anything even the flesh you have the worms will eat it so why we don't remember and why we don't be wise so today in the time of disaster i ask you all if you have somebody you know he is poor he cannot afford to buy bread and food for his children for he lost his job because many people are losing their jobs somebody is old he cannot get out an old woman an old man he have no family please be their family please be their family they need you if you are a person who make donation to me stop your donation to me and give it to that poor person he deserve it way more than I do to be Christian is to be Christ like not to be just a Christian who wave his hand says I pray to the Lord to save you we pray and we do work to save others if we can we do it if we cannot what we can do at least you did your job So help as many as you can. And maybe sometime even someone, he don't need your financial help, but he needs someone to talk to him. An old person, poor man, nobody visited him. There's many children, they deny their parents. They don't care for them no more. Disgusting. You can give them a beautiful smile in their face, that there is somebody coming to their door and knock at their door. It might be the conversation with them is not really interesting. It might be a waste of time, but trust me, it's not. It's a blessing for us. Those old people is me and you in years to come. You will become old too, and I will become old too, and nobody will come to my door. So you better see in the face of a person who is poor yourself. A man or a woman who they are old yourself you will be there and when you are there you don't want to be a person nobody care for we pray for all the people and I pray for the Lord to keep you all in safe and good hands and until we see you soon in a few hours from now in the quality of life account <clears throat> um, I will leave you in the good hands of the Lord. Thank you, and God bless. Take care.